his head and his hairs were white like wool. So if the Bible says his head and his hairs on his face were white like wool. White in color, woolly in texture. Read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So this is the question that's on deck. Why is his eyes a flame of fire? You know what I want, right? Read. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. Hold on. Because Moses prophesied that uh, we would see Christ, right? He saw Christ in the prophecy, right? Read. His eyes shall be red with wine. What was Christ's uh, first miracle? Think about it. When he was, he was, he, there you go. What was it again? Turn the water into wine. Read that again. His eyes shall be red with wine. So when Christ was at this wedding, right? He turned water into wine. You don't think he took no, took a sip? No, he took. Huh? He got a couple cakes of wine. Right, right. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a sin to drink. It's a sin to get drunk. This is the book of Matthew, chapter eleven and verse nineteen. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. And they say, Behold, a man is gluttonous and a wine bibber. See? They try to say he's a he's a glutton and a wine bibber. Right? They always have something to lie about Christ about, right? So guess what? Do, uh, so let's go back to Revelation. We're gonna finish Revelation to talk about how Christ looks. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay. And his feet like unto fine brass. So remember, Christ had on this long garment, right? Only thing you can see is his feet, right? And they're telling you how his feet look. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, sir? Huh? Gold. 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 Goldish color, right? Derivative of brown, right? Yeah. All right, read. Let's, we're going to see how brown Christ was. Read this. As if they burned in a furnace. So let's say you take that brass, put it in the furnace, pull it out. What color is going to be? Read, read this again. And his feet like a defined brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Anything you put in the furnace and it burns, what color will it be? Come on, think about it. You put a piece of chicken in the oven, right? Right? You leave that joint in the oven too long, it burns. What color does it come out? Black. Yeah. Black. Right? Read that again. And his feet like a defined brass, as if they burned in a furnace. So Christ was a very dark man, right? He had wool, hair of wool, uh, just like you, sir, you know? But there's something that Christ had that all Israelite men should have, right? Read this. Go to uh, Leviticus 19. So we're going to go through some laws with you, all right? Because you say you go to church, right? So do they teach the laws in church? Do they teach, like, uh, I know they teach, they may teach basic laws, thou shalt not steal. Yeah. yeah, right. But they don't teach you to keep the Passover, right? right? They don't teach you to keep uh, tabernacles. These are feast days that you should be keeping. How about uh, how about uh, uh, the Sabbath day? When is the Sabbath day, sir? Right? Sabbath day. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord, thy God. So what day is the, he said the six days you shall work, the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. What day is the seventh day? Saturday, right? So, huh? The first day of Sunday, very good. So why do churches go to church on Sunday? When the Bible says, on the seventh day. You just told me that the first day is Sunday, so that couldn't be right. That's right. right? So, so what day should you be going to church? On Saturday. So next week, this week coming, 
Are you going to church? Yep. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This is a law of God, right? If you break the law, let me ask you a question. What is, what is sin according to the Bible, sir? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Right. This is in the New Testament to tell us what sin is. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. So if you break God's commandments, the law, you are in the midst of sin. Right. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. So how do you get, uh, so let me ask you a question. So if sin is the breaking of God's law, what do you have to do to get out of the midst of sin? Yeah, let's call repentance, right? After, what is repentance? You gotta repent and do what? Keep the laws, right? So, so we're gonna give you a law that every Israelite man should be keeping. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Uh -huh. You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. So, an Israelite man, look at all these brothers around here. What do you see? What do you see on them? Hair. Hair, hair where? And beard. On their beard, on their face, right? Yeah. Read this again. Ye shall not round the corners of your beards, neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. So you cannot shave your beard, sir. I know in this society, you know, Mr. White Man tell you, hey, in order to look, you know, presentable in public, you got to be clean shaven. But that's not what the Bible says. Do you believe man or God? Mr. Gene, what? you believe man or God? Well, I believe God. All right, so read that again. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thy mouth the corners of thy beard. See, every man out here following this commandment. God told us not to uh, shave our head, nor shave our beard. All right? so. What should you do from this point, sir? Are you going to start growing your beard? I ain't gonna sit there and laugh. No, not. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't, you don't, you don't love God? I love God. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. You say you love God? Yeah. We'll see. Well, let's, what is the love of God? Let me ask you that. How do you love God? How do you love God? Any idea? I'm going to show you. Because everything we read is going to come out the word of God. All right? Read this. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If ye love me, right. keep my commandments. So this is Christ, right? Saying, if you love me, keep my commandments. Did we just read a commandment earlier about a beard? Mr. G, did we read a commandment earlier? Yeah, about a beard. Bro. About a beard? Yeah, but like I said, you don't get rid of the gold, you know. But it's nice what y'all doing. Okay, man. Hey, listen. We just out here trying to teach our people, man, to get out of sin. Right? You get out of sin, and we clean up our neighborhoods, man. All right? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.